Do you think it's good or bad that as of Monday there was no front runner for the Democratic Party? That is very alarming. I didn't even know that. You just put that to my attention. But that's very alarming because you would think that as a country we would have all everybody on the front line ready to be a part of whatever we need as a country. So that's really alarming to me. Um, I think at this point it's fine. Uh, maybe when it's very close to the election it could be trouble for them. But I think at this point it's okay. That means they have, there's a lot of viable options. I think it's bad. There's no Democratic frontrunner because it it makes the Republicans think that they can win easier. And it looks like the Democratic Party is not organized or united or ready enough for this election, not ready enough to win. So it is very bad. And I hope it will improve very soon. The fact that there's no front runner for the Democratic nomination shows that they really need to get their proverbial stuff together. Uh, I don't think that they'll be able to pick one, and with everyone at less than 25% in the polls, things are not looking good for the Democratic Party. Really, it doesn't matter one way or the other. Trump's going to win. It doesn't matter who the front runner is. It doesn't matter if there's a front runner. It doesn't matter if he's running against 100 people or one person. He's going to win. Yes, I think there should be no front runner for the Democratic Party because they're all good candidates, and I mean, they they should all have get a chance, a fair chance of being number one. I have chosen that that is bad because we need one strong person to run against President Donald Trump if the Democratic Party has any chance of winning. When there are multiple parties, their votes are going to be split between the four and it will make it virtually impossible for the Democratic Party to win. I believe that uh, it shows we do not have on the Democratic side a strong presidential candidate to go against Trump. Uh, and without a strong candidate, uh, Trump will win a second term, regardless of uh, being impeached in the House. So I think it's very important to have a strong front runner, especially at this point.